Okay, so that is the reason I am taking the current through the load resistor as IL. Okay, again I am representing some more things. Exactly at B1, you have to mention arrow like this. Okay, and you have to call this resistance as RI1. The meaning is, what is B1? Input terminal of Q1. Exactly at the input terminal of the transistor Q1, you have the resistor RI1 means the input resistance of the first stage. It is not externally connected one, it is internal to the transistor, remember. Next, after R1 and R2, you have to mention another arrow, you have to draw another arrow and that is nothing but RI1 dash. What is RI1 dash? It is nothing but RI1 in parallel with R1 in parallel with R2 because for this, this is the RI1 and for this RI1, R2 and R1 are in parallel. Okay, same way at the C1, exactly at C1, C1 is the output terminal of the first transistor. So, you have to mention here R01. Okay, then to the C1, RC1 is connected. So, after RC1 also you do draw another arrow and now this is nothing but R01 dash. What is R01 dash? R01 in parallel with RC1. Okay, then in the same way, go for B2 also. What is this? Ri2. And what about this? Ri2 dash. What is Ri2 dash? Ri2 in parallel with R1 in parallel with R2. Okay, and then here at C2 also, this is R02. And here also, this is R02 dash. That is R02 in parallel with RC2. Okay. This indicating different resistances is very important in the analysis of this two stage amplifier. Fine. So, this is totally the equivalent circuit. Now, from this, we are going to analyze the two stage amplifier. What is going to analysis? I already told you analysis means finding voltage gain AV, current gain AI. Then input resistance Ri and output resistance R0. Okay. Circuit consists of two stages. You have to find the AV, AI, Ri, R0 of individual stages and also for the entire two stage amplifier. Okay. And in the last video, I mentioned that the analysis must start from second stage. Okay. So AI2. Now you have to go through the table given and the concept of approximate H parameter model. Okay. So now what is AI2 in the table given? AI2 is minus HFE. Okay. And then RI2 is HIE. Directly you can take. Then AV2. So what is what is AV2? Minus HFE into RL by HIE. RL is RC2 because this is the second stage. So it's nothing but HFE into RC2 by HIE. The general formula, you have one general formula for AV2 that is AI2 into RL2 by RI2. Not only for the second stage, you can use it for any stages. Yes, you can use AV. AV as AI into RL by RI. Okay. Next, the last one is R02. And the table is given R02 as infinite. And see here, you have another resistance R02 dash. What is R02 dash? R02 in parallel with RC2. What is R02? Infinite. Infinite in parallel with RC2. If you have two resistors, one is of very high value and another one is very low value. If you parallel them, then the resultant is low value. Suppose if you uh, do the series of uh, those two resistors, you will get high value as answer. Okay. So this is about analysis of second stage. Is it okay? Same way, we will see the analysis for first stage. Coming to the analysis of first stage.
yes. It's A I 1. Same thing. Minus H R P. R I 1. H I E. Because the two stages for C. Then A V 1. Is what is the general formula? A I into R L by R I. As this is first stage. Like this you can write. What is A I 1? Minus H R V. What is R L 1 here? Say this. Okay, I will tell you. Just wait. R I 1 is H I E. What is R L 1? Right? Okay, see here. Suppose if the second stage is not connected. If your circuit consists of only single stage, then R L 1 means only R C 1. Okay? But here, as the first stage is connected to the second stage, our resistance for the first stage is what are the values or what are the resistances connected to the output terminal of the first stage becomes the load. So this, this is the output terminal of the first stage. What are the resistors connected to it? One is RC1, another one is R1, another one is R2, another one is RI2. Okay, totally four resistors. So now what is R L1? R C1 in parallel with R1 in parallel with R2 in parallel with R I2. That becomes your R L1. Remember. But for the second stage, there are no other resistors. Hence R L2 becomes R C2. Okay, then next is R01 is infinite. And do you have any R01 dash? Yes. This is R01 in parallel with RC1. That is infinite in parallel with RC1 is nothing but is nothing but RC1. Okay. So this is the analysis of first stage. Okay. Analysis of second stage and analysis of first stage. Then, and after this, you have to find the parameters of the entire circuit. Parameters of two stage. That part I will cover in the next uh, video. And in the next video, I will tell you how to solve a problem on this CECE cascade amplifier. Okay, thank you very much.